morning everybody we are on day two of our paris vlogs today um i'm a little tired you know i did sleep really well because like i said i was up god i don't even know probably 36 maybe almost 40 hours yesterday almost a day and a half at least um but i did get a good night's sleep stitch did two stitches right there he took that bed i took that one so we today we are Probably we're not doing the park today. Today is we are going to go see Paris. We are doing our uh, Palace of Versailles tour. We're going to go see the Palace of Versailles. We're going to see the Eiffel Tower today. We are going to do the Seine River a boat trip. So by the time we get back here, it's going to be... Um, there's maybe be about an hour left of the park being open, so we're probably going to come back and have dinner here at the hotel and everything. So, but we're actually going to go have breakfast right now. Um, as part of my dining plan, I get uh, breakfast every morning at my hotel, and then I get like the lunch or dinner, like ever I had mentioned to you guys at the park yesterday. So, we're going to finish getting ready, and then we're going to go over to the cantina. That's what it's called, the cantina and go ahead and have breakfast and so we'll see you guys at the cantina okay, so i wanted to show you guys everything around they have like these freestyle coke machines here and then on that side is where you can get your hot beverages we'll go back that way but then you come this way i guess you grab a tray and get food but i will show you guys the food in a minute Right here on this cute little truck, they've got all kinds of breads and everything here on this truck here. They have a place to get yogurt right here. Like a yogurt station, you can get some yogurt, you can get some other food here. It's all themed, really cute for cars and everything, a southwest look. Here's like all Nutella, jams and everything here. As you can see that here, this Nutella is big here. So lots of Nutella. So they got this cute little truck right there. Jose salad truck and it's full of bread. You're a carb lover, you're being heaven here. And this one is like maple syrup and this is the honey right there. Yeah. Yeah, they've got some potatoes, some eggs, bacon, more eggs, bacon, sausage, looks like some kind of chili beans or beans right there. They have the Mickey waffles right there. They have a place here where you can make toast, put your toast in and toast your bread right there. Sausages, they've got they've got the beans, they've got some potatoes right there. Got more bread right here. They've got some fruit right here you can get also. Here they've got some like cold cuts here and everything. Bordadello, they've got ham, salami, all right here. You can make like a sandwich or something to go. Maybe we'll do that since we're going on that tour and everything right there. Uh, okay, I don't normally get all my food for a buffet, but it is so chaotic and busy in there. I figured one trip is probably enough. But I did get some fruit right here. So I've got some um, some different fruits here, some pineapple, and some apples and some other stuff that they had mixed in here. So I did get this. I got this apple, like pomegranate juice, really good. Some coffee. Then here I ended up getting, finding a vegan sausage. I'm gonna try that. I've got some eggs. I love these little crispy potatoes. I had them yesterday at the buffet. And then some bacon. And then of course, you know, can't go anywhere and not get Mickey waffles. I got Mickey waffles. And then I saw this cute little Mickey bread. Isn't that like adorable looking? Look at that. I'm not sure what it is, but it's just adorable. And then we have some, another piece of bread. I think it's like a pound cake or something right here. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and see how this stuff is. Okay, so I have some of those scrambled eggs right here, so we'll give them a try. It's a little cold, but like I said, I was walking around filming, then I had to go get my coffee and stuff like that. So, got a little cold. But Stitch is gonna try some num num. I think Stitch, oh, he likes French, French scrambled eggs. So those are good. I mean, they're good. They're nice and fluffy and they taste well. They're just a little cold. But that's because, like I said, I was maneuvering my way through. Then I got some of these potatoes right here. Those are really good. Potatoes are really good. We're going to try some of this vegan sausage right here. Actually, not bad. It looks like just like a regular sausage. It has the consistency of a sausage and everything. Um, it has a different flavor. I could tell that it is vegan, but it is really good. It has very good flavor. When I say I could tell it's vegan, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean you could tell that it's, I could tell this one isn't real meat. Um, versus like some impossible things that you can tell, they don't seem like they're, you know, they taste like real meat. So Stitch is gonna try. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, oh. He gives it one paw. He wants a real sausage. All right. So next time, tomorrow we'll get a real sausage. But today we're gonna have the vegan one. But this is bad. So we finished our first plate and everything. So we're gonna try some of these other items. So I have this. What they said it was a pound cake. A little piece like this. So we'll try this. It was pretty good it was just like a it's just a little piece of like a pound cake a little buttery and everything so stitch is gonna give it a try and see what he thinks nom, 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 nom. What is, yeah he likes it he liked the pound cake he thought it was good so then next thing we have is we have this little cute little um, piece of um, cake that's got a little Mickey in it so I'm very curious what this is I mean aesthetically I mean it's perfect I mean look at that that's a perfect piece of cake right there so we're gonna give this a try. It's like a little um, cinnamon bread type thing. It's got a little round sugar on the top. It's not too sweet, which is what I like. The inside, the little Mickey, does actually have a little bit of a chocolate taste. So you kind of got a little bit of chocolate, not overwhelming chocolate. I don't like a lot of chocolate in the morning. And then you've got like this moist cake with it, like a, uh, almost like the pound cake. But it's really good. So Stitch is gonna try some, what do you think? Yeah, he likes it. He likes the cake too. So that's really cool. So, and of course we have the famous Mickey waffles right here and the Mickey waffles. So we know how those are. Those are always good and everything. And then I did pick up like one croissant. Can't come to Paris and not have a croissant. And then I've got one little piece of bread right here. I think it's chocolate inside. If it's chocolate, then you may not like that. But, um, so we're gonna have some more of these items and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we had those Mickey waffles. Those were so good and everything. And so was that little bread with the Mickey in it. That was really good. So we have to film this momentous occasion. We are in Paris and or we're in France. We're not really in Paris, but we're on the outskirts of Paris. But look, croissant. We have to have a croissant, our first croissant that we're having in Paris. So let's give this a try. Mm. Nice and flaky, with a crunch on the top of him. Well, Stitch is going to try his first croissant in Paris. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, he likes it. Yes, of course. This is so good right here. And then we have this one right here. And I pulled, started pulling it apart and I forgot to turn the camera on. But yes, it is chocolate inside. I'm not a big fan of chocolate in the morning, but you know, why not? You know, we're in Paris. Let's try all the pastries, let's see. Oh, it's very rich. I think it's Nutella that's inside of it. Um, but it's good, but it's just very chocolatey. I mean, if you're a chocolate person that loves chocolate in the morning, I'm not. But look, you can see all the flakes and layers of this. It's really well, um, really well baked pastry. 
It's just not to my liking because I'm not a chocolate person early in the morning. But num, 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 uh, Stitch likes it. He is. So my friend Cindy would love this because she is a chocolate person in the morning. But I'm not. But I think we'll, Stitch and I will stick to, or at least I will stick to the croissant. Stitch will eat the other one. That's fine. So, but this is so good. So we're just about to wrap up um, our breakfast. And then we have about half an hour until we get on our tour. So we'll see you guys when we're on the bus. Okay, so we are here at the Palace of Versailles. It was about a 45 minute ride straight from um, the hotel and everything. This is amazing. It is perfect weather. I'm actually a little warm in my heavy jacket, but that's okay. Better to be a little bit warm than cold. Um, but the, one of the reasons I really wanted to come to the Palace of Versailles is because as you guys know, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie and the ballroom and Beauty and the Beast, um, it actually, um, the inspiration for the ballroom actually came from the Hall of Mirrors and that is inside the Palace of Versailles. So you know I had to come see that and everything. So this is our first stop. We also have this, we're going to the Eiffel Tower after this and then we are going on the river tour. But we're gonna do the um, Palace of Versailles. They even gave me this little thing here like for an audio um, thing that you can listen to and um, and that came with our my plan and everything or my 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 tour and everything but i want to just take you along and show you the palace of versailles today this is amazing and it's perfect weather so let me turn this around that is all gold that is not gold painted that is Woman, real gold photo. it's really gold and everything so, and everything so you've got all this gold right here See this all the way around right here. And we'll go all the way over there, but just to show you the vastness of this right here. It's just amazing. Okay, when you come in, all this right here, they've got like souvenirs and things. We'll take a look at that after, but they also have these beautiful statues all right here that you can look at and everything and use your audio camera to check them out and everything. It's so cool. Look at this. another one right here this is just amazing another one here this is horse of the sun ruined by tritons just amazing pictures they're amazing statues right here so when you walk in first they have all these different portraits of all like a lot of the different kings and everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show you guys as much of it as I can and then probably just come back and walk through the whole thing again with the audio and just kind of because I have like about three hours here so I really want to just do that but I want to share this stuff with you too. So I've got these pictures here along the walls in here. We've got the palace right here. Over here, another picture here. Got another one right here. Let's see. I love art, so this is so cool for me. Okay, you guys can see, like, here's a whole model of the palace and everything. It's like when you first walk in, the gate's right there. We didn't get to walk in, but they have them blocked up. Good idea. Normally, you would go enter this way and then walk all the way through. And where we are is like right in this area right here. And then the back is all gardens that you can go through also. And the gardens, I mean, it looks small here, but I mean, it's just miles and miles of gardens. All right. You actually have to, if you really want to see them all, you have to rent like a um, golf cart to go see all of them. I don't think we'll have time for that this time. Maybe another visit, but this is just amazing here. Okay, this isn't the Hall of Mirrors. This is actually the Royal Chapel. This is a two-story Palatine ca Chapel designed on the model of the Holy Chapel in Paris. And then you will get prepared in his bedroom with the public. And then look at that from the ceiling right there. That is just amazing. And by tap, you would come here. All of here. All that gold here. Just 
to come and Amazing. sit in the middle Beautiful. of this balcony. There's another room in here. Look at this giant fireplace. Hercules room. They weren't kidding. Located in the side of the fourth and Pedro Chapel, the palace ballroom in the 18th century. 18th century. But look at this fireplace. This massive thing. Look at this all the way around here. And the ceiling is all painted here. This is just amazing. We haven't gone to the Hall of Mirrors yet. Here's another. This is actually King Louis the Fourteenth right here. You can see all this right here. Just look at this amazing room. That's all real gold. 14, 18 karat gold on these doors and everything. Then up on the ceiling, you've got all this frescoes painted here. Just amazing. Okay, so we made it to the Hall of Mirrors. I had to go through a lot and I didn't really want to show all that because there's just a lot of paintings and stuff like that. So I know the main thing everybody wants to see is the Hall of Mirrors. So we got this picture right here. And then you can see here. That, not, that is, look at this, just amazing. I just can't wait to walk in there. Just trying to let some of these other crowds die down a little. It is very crowded in here. Look at this. this is, look at all those chandeliers. Oh. This is not Screaming Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if it is like if that isn't Screaming Beauty and the Beast, I don't know what it is. But let's go check it out. So here is the Hall of Mirrors. This is the this is where the, when they were animating and drawing Beauty and the Beast, this is the inspiration for the ballroom for Beauty and the Beast. This this room right here. I can see it. I can see it. I can see Belle singing in this room. This is amazing. I see them dancing in this room. This is amazing. See, all the way down you've got these mirrors right here. There we are. There I am. Stitches hanging on for dear life and everything. But this is amazing. These chandeliers and everything. They're not well, the Napoli Green is the camera that's doing it, but I kind of like that effect. But look at this. This is amazing. The chandelier right there. Those candelabras. This is so cool. I can't imagine how it must look at night with all the lit up and everything. I don't know if they do night tours, but this is, this is awesome. It just goes and goes. I've been walking and this thing just goes and goes. Yeah, I can just picture my beast and bell dancing in here. This is amazing. All the mirrors right here. And this is all built by Louis the 14th and everything. But look at this. Look at these giant mirrors. Everywhere these mirrors are. Going on and on and on, all the way down. Then you've got these amazing paintings up on the ceiling, just like they have in Beauty and the Beast. You know how they have the angels in there on the top of the ceiling. They have these frescoes all along the ceiling here, also. You can see and everything. These are just amazing. You've got these like, angels here holding, or these. Got these ladies holding these candelabras right here. This, and like this is these giant mirrors all the way up and down. That one looks loose. Or they maybe they moved. Some of them were popped out a little. But this is so cool. All the way around. gold right here going all the way down. Just, just an amazing room. I'll come back this way and you guys can see it. I'm going to show 
are you kind of zoomed in there a little you guys can see it all right there you can really see the lights it's really look like they're flickering here this is so cool put the zoom on all the way so you guys can see this all the way down just amazing definitely worth coming all the way to paris to experience oh, all of mirrors my beauty and the beast this is so cool this is a dream come true to see this in person this is amazing this is it from that and then riding the ride at tokyo Disney. oh this is it so i came outside because i did finish the tour it was just amazing i didn't film all of it because i wanted to really just kind of take it in and everything but I will post a lot of pictures on Instagram of the inside of the Palace of Versailles and everything. Um, the gardens are way back there. Um, I don't think I have time to see all of them and plus really to see them you have to like rent a golf cart and everything to really go see them and everything. So that's okay maybe another time. But I was like dying of thirst in there and they had this little cart and everything. And you know they had some juice, so I picked up the juice. This is a pineapple juice. This is Alain Malat, and it's a pineapple juice. So they're gonna shake this up because, like I said, I am dying of thirst, and I want to try this. I saw a lot of people buying these juices, so I figured, you know, they gotta be good. And you know why not? We're in France. Let's try some of the stuff that's not nation. I don't know. It's natural to France or something. But it's like a, it's supposed to be just straight pineapple juice and it's made in France. So we're going to give this a try. This is good. This is just like straight pineapple juice. It's not really sweet or anything. It's actually very good, very refreshing. Because like I said, I had my heavy jacket on. You know, I was anticipating it being, you know, really cold while I was here. And I'm not complaining because I had we're having perfect weather, but I actually could have just came without anything with just my sh long sleeve shirt. But unfortunately, the tram, the bus that we're on, is going to be a different one to take us to the rest of the tour today. So I couldn't leave my jacket on there. But Stitch is going to try music. Oh, yes, he loves the Paris juice. So this is really good. So we're going to probably drink all of this. The same place that sold the uh, juices, and I also got a little water, they have macarons. And you know, you can't come to France and not have macarons. So, we're going to give these, see what we got here. I did pick out three. Um, this one is like a chocolate banana one. This one is a cafe one or coffee one. I love coffee flavored things. And this one is called the Marie Antoinette. So she said it's like a rose and something else. I'm not big on floral tasting things, but she said this is, and tea, that this is their most popular one. So we're gonna try all of these. We're gonna try the Marie Antoinette first one, one first. So let's see how this is. It does taste like tea, like if you're having that, like a cup of tea. Um, has a little bit of a flower, like rose taste to it. Not bad. Not my favorite. They say it's their favorite best-selling one because I think it's just the, um, the whole thing about Marie Antoinette because it, the Palais of Versailles was the home for Marie Antoinette and everything. And if you actually go all the way to the end of the gardens, which you'd have to get a golf cart, you will see um, where Marie Antoinette escaped to and got to live when the French Revolution broke out and everything. So, um, but, and before Henry decided to, you know, her. Um, but this is really cool right here. This one is good. So, Stitch, Stitch is gonna try. Nom nom nom. What do you think of French macaron? Oh, he's giving it only one pot. Okay. That's alright. Alright, let's try the coffee one. Cafe, cafe flavored one. So we'll see how this is. Mm. Now this I like. This is good. Because you know this tastes like like a cup of coffee. This is really good. I like coffee flavored like chocolates, like from seeds candy and stuff like that and things, but oh, this is so good. So stitch. Plus, we need some coffee to keep us awake. 
So num num num. Oh, he likes this one better. He gives this one two paws up. This is good. Okay, and this one is the last one. This one is like chocolate with banana inside, and I love anything chocolate with banana. So I had to get this one. So we'll try this one. It definitely s smells like banana, but you know what this is reminding me of them? The taste and the smell. Um, Tashi, you're reminding me of a moon pie. If you had moon pies, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a marshmallowy taste almost. This tastes more like a marshmallowy banana. It's good because you know I you guys know I love marshmallow and everything. So here, not my favorite though. You try this stitch. Nom, nom, nom. He gives the two paws. I think my favorite is actually <laughs> the coffee one. If I had to pick one, I would say it the coffee one is my favorite. So this is really good. Mm. Pick up a few souvenirs. You know, I do like to collect magnets. So of course I had to get the Hall of Mirror magnet right there. Because I love collecting magnets and everything for places I go. So I got one of those. They didn't have a pin, or else I would have got a pin. And then I also picked up these medallions. So I picked up this one right here. It's kind of hard to tell. But it does have like the horse like Napoleon and has the front right there. You can see right there. Napoleon actually lived here also if you're not familiar with the Hall of Mirrors. And then on this, like I said, on this side, you've got like the front gates. I don't know, hopefully it's coming through. And then of course, inside I have this one right here, which has more of the inside right there. Cool medallion right there. And these were only like $3. And the magnet was like four dollars, so reasonably priced, you know, for a, for a touristy place. And I bought some postcards, so I got this one right here, which has got the, the whole front of it. I picked up this one, which is like the front door right there. I picked up another one like this. And then, of course, I had to get, you know, the Beauty and the Beast Ballroom. I had to get the Hall of Mirrors right there. So I'll probably put these, like, in a frame or something. This one probably put, like, by my Beauty and the Beast stuff and everything because it's so cool. And there's just, like, the, the ballroom and everything. So, um, I have about half an hour until we head off to Paris. So we're going to go to the Eiffel Tower and the river, do the Seine River tour. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit more and head back my way toward where the bus is and everything or like the little shuttle is. So we will see you guys. I don't know if it's going to be out. I'm not sure if it's the Eiffel Tower we're going next to or it's the river tour. Um, but we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we made it over to the to where the boat ride is, everything, and there's the Eiffel Tower. Um, we're not able to get as close as I would like to have gotten it and everything, but we got the side view and the street and everything, and I'll insert a picture of it and everything. But you can see it all right there. Some other other pe people that are on the tour with me, they're actually eating in the two restaurants. There's two restaurants. One of the lower level, one of the top level there, and they're eating there this weekend or so. But that is awesome. But we are on the river right here, and we're waiting to take off and everything. So I'll try to show you guys as much of the river tour as I can and everything. So it's basically, they told me it's a half hour up the river and a half hour back down. So we'll see what sights we see. So we'll be right back. About the building that is on your left, this is the Chaillot Palace. Alors, le palais de Chaillot, il a été construit en 1937 pour l'exposition universelle de Paris. Il abrite aujourd'hui trois musées. Dans l'aile de droite, vous avez la cité d'architecture et du patrimoine. Et dans l'aile de gauche, vous avez le musée de la marine et le musée de l'homme. So, the Chaillot Palace, what on your left, was built in 1937 for the Universal Exhibition. Inside of it, we still have three museums today. So on the right, we have the Architecture and Heritage Museum. 
and on the left wing you have the main car reserve and the maximum main distribution. Alors actuellement nous arrivons sur la Seine. La Seine c'est le second plus long fleuve de France. Elle fait 777 km de long. Alors cette fois, disons, c'est un cadeau qui a été fait à la France par les états unis dans les années 80 pour vous remercier d'avoir restauré la statue de la liberté. Et également, And sorry, and it was built uh, actually to pay tribute to the late Count Alexander III and also to celebrate the country from France and Russia. Now, this is the premier of French architecture for space station. And you also have uh, names of cities written on the building. So, those are the cities the train went to. So, for example, you have Lorient, Van and Catherine, which are very beautiful cities in the western region of France for Britain. Et nous aussi, Bordeaux, Toulouse, c'est le sud-ouest de France. Et en fait, cette gare, elle a été construite en 1900 pour l'exposition universelle. En fait, c'était pour permettre aux visiteurs d'aller le plus près possible des espaces d'exposition. So this train station was actually built in 1900 to allow visitors to go as closely as possible to the places of exhibition during the Universal Exhibition. Et en face de nous, eh bien, c'est quand même le troisième plus de fond de Paris. C'est le pont royal qui a été construit au XVIIe siècle. So in front of us you have the third oldest bridges inside of Paris. This is the Royal Bridge, which was built in the 17th century. Wow. The third oldest bridge was built in the 17th century. Now, so let's go to the museum of the Louvre, but we don't see it. We don't see it. What she's mentioning is that the Olympics are actually going to be here in Paris this summer and they're actually going to have Olympic swimming in the Seine River. They've actually, it's supposed to be that clean that they're going to be able to swim in this water. I don't know, that water doesn't look that clean to me, but okay. It is a beautiful day. I mean, look at this. I cannot so believe this, you have it our luck. It is uh, this is the old bridge. Uh, this bridge uh, is famous because for many years, uh, lovers used to come here. This is the actual Cathedral of Notre Dame right here. It's still, they're still working on it ever since the fire, which has been several years, but it is still um, not open to the public. Okay, now we're heading back down the Seine River. You can see, like, we're coming around this on the other side. It's just so cool. So, in front of us, this is a very cool now because it's like all of these buildings are so old. Look at the architecture on them, just amazing. The tradition is that you make a wish before going under or on the bridge, and once So this is the actual Louvre Museum right here. Oh, I'm showing you guys right now. Home of the Mona Lisa. So we're actually waiting to catch our bus back to the hotel and everything. But 
We had an amazing day, Stitch and I, are you sure? Yep. Got the Eiffel Tower a little bit in the back there. So Stitch and I, we had an amazing day on the river and everything. That was so much fun and everything. The boat ride was so cool and um, we just had such a good time on it. We saw so much. The architecture is just amazing. So much to see there. It was amazing. Um, we even got to see, um, you know, the Notre Dame Cathedral and everything. It'll be reconstructed. Hopefully they said it should be done by the end of the year. So another reason to come back here and go see that. But this was so cool. Um, I'll let you guys see one more time. Here's the Eiffel Tower. You can see it um, all the way up right there. Just amazing. Okay, so because we got back so late and the park actually closed like at 8 o'clock and it's a little after that, I made a reservation here at the um, cantina where we had breakfast and we're just, it's like a buffet. So we're going to just go ahead and have uh, dinner here. So I'm going to walk it out, walk over here and show you guys what they serve. Everything's like Tex-Mex. So it's like Tex-Mex food and everything. So let me turn the camera around. So here they have like breads and then they have like some cheeses and oh look they have a Mickey shaped cheese oh we may have to get that but right here this stuff here oh no this is like Cajun pork sausage they have chili meatless chili looks like they have some kind of um They had some kind of vegetables there. Here's the fade, you get chicken nuggets, they got potato strips. Looks like they've got some croutons here. They've got some soup. They got chips and nachos. Oh, they got kids stuff here. Here they've got some french fries, they've got some empanadas, they have some potato gratin right there. Here they have some pork sauteed with pineapple, honey, and maple syrup. That's all the Beef sauteed with black beans. They've got a fish here, fish of the day. Right here, they've got some corn. They have some sirloin sir 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 steak right there. They've got some tortillas in here. And you can make like your own tacos right here. They got a taco bar thing. They got some fajitas right here. Got some rice, Mexican rice. Some roasted potatoes. Some more vegetables here. You got some meatless. Um, this is all vegan stuff right here. I'm gonna pass that up here. And then we've got some fruit here, desserts here, and a corn cake, gluten free, a little cute little light imagery, chocolate tart, the fruit. I think that's what stuff they had last night, or I mean, had at the other restaurant. In fact, this is chocolate banana passion. This is so cute. We've got a mango passion dessert, the Mickey ones, the stuff that I had yesterday at the other. Uh, Restaurant. Here they have a cherry puree pie. Looks like a tart Normandy. That's a pecan. They got some little Mickey shaped things. A cupcake, a VA cupcake. Very cute. So we'll definitely be getting some dessert here. So I just wanted to show you everything that they had. Okay, so I got a little bit of everything. I got some fajitas right here. I got some sirloin steak. I got some of this beef one here. Had chicken with the pineapple, a couple of french fries, everything. So, you know, nothing too exotic here and everything. But um, I'm going to turn this around or give it a try. So I'm going to try some of this beef right here. Good. Has really good flavor and everything. Um, it's like a beef simmered in some kind of like stew meat or something. Like stew meat, but it's good. Good. It's not too sweet. I thought it was gonna be sweet, but no, it's just like like a little pineapple sauce or anything. It's good. 
Stitch is gonna try some of the pineapples that we them. Um, oh, he likes it. He's hungry. So we haven't really eaten anything since this morning. We did eat at the Palace of Versailles. They had a couple of cafes and everything, but they were like really pricey and the lines were really long. I mean, we did try those little um, macarons, but other than that, we haven't had anything. And we've been walking in for hours. I mean, it's already like eight o'clock here in the evening. So this, he liked this one. Prior to this, I had gotten made a little salad, but I did forget to show that. But you know, it was just a salad, well, nothing special. So, piece of the sirloin, and then they just had like some kind of sauce to put over it. So, we're gonna give this a try and see how this is. It's really good, and it's cooked perfectly. I like my meat like a little pink and everything. This is really good. He's gonna try some steak. Num num. Oh yeah, he likes the steak too. Good, huh? Good. Cooked perfectly. Nice and tender sirloin steak. Mm. Just because we're like hungry, I mean everything really is good. And you know sometimes when you eat and you're hungry, so hungry, everything just tastes good. No, this is really good. This stuff is really good. I did get some fajitas and like I said they do have tortillas so I might go back up there and grab a tortilla and everything so I do have some right here got some bell pepper and everything hanging so let's try this it's so really good a little spicy but I like that one. oh I definitely like this this is number one is the fajitas feel the heat there it's really good and like I said again, you know, this is a buffet. And again, it's just weird to me. They have these those Coke machines that have like the you know freestyle and all the, but they're all shut down. I don't know. Maybe they never reopened them after COVID or something. But you know, so you get one drink, even though it isn't all you can eat. They give you one can of soda and everything. And then when you know, I ask them for water, again they look at me like I'm crazy. And so he did give me like a pitcher of water here because I mean I'm like really dehydrated from all day walking and everything so it's just I guess it's just a strange to me how I guess because in the United States you know a buffet usually is all you can drink you know sodas or whatever and or or even in a restaurant a sit-down restaurant you know you get a beverage you can always ask for ice water and they don't look at you strange but maybe here in Europe that's a different thing I don't know but you know it's just kind of weird to me they'll let you eat as much food as you want but you only can get one soda or something or one you know cold beverage so but anyways um I think Sitch and I are gonna go ahead and just have our dinner. I'm gonna have some dinner, so when I get desserts, I'll show you some of the desserts. So we'll be back a little bit after we've had our entree. Okay, so I got a few desserts here, obviously, a lot, not a few. But I wanna try, this one looks like a chocolate mousse right there. You guys know I love chocolate mousse. This one was like a mango, um, mousse type thing so we're gonna try a little bit of that this one I'm not sure there wasn't a description for it but we're gonna try it and look at this cute little cars wheel how cute is that that is adorable and then they had this little Mickey one that I had last night that was really good this one here is um, like a chocolate mousse one and this one is supposed to be like a pineapple or banana passion fruit one so that looks really good too. So we're gonna try just a little bit of each one. I am like really full, but we're just gonna try it a little bit. Start with the chocolate mousse right here. And look how cute, it even has a little rusty thing in here for the car's land. So we're just gonna try this here. That's good. Not as good as my grace of chocolate mousse, but still really good what this one is right here. This also is a kind of mango. Have some right here. It's like a it's a mango panna cotta. It's really good. It's not too heavy, not too sweet. I love the mango on top of everything. It's just really good. Oh this is really good. 
to try the manicotta. He doesn't want to try the mousse. So, he's going to try some of the manicotta. I guess he gives it two paws up. He likes it. Number three. I didn't. I don't know what it is. There wasn't a description for it. So, I'm just going to take a chance to see what it is. Here we have some right here. And we'll see what it is. It smells like smells coconutty. So maybe there was something that was referring to coconut over there. So let me see. I don't know what this is. It tastes like coconut, but it's very dry and everything. So that's a hard pass. You don't want that one. See what this little wheel one is here. The Lightning McQueen wheel one. We'll see what this is. like a little chocolate tart right there it's good very rich if you like chocolate you know the little sh uh, pastry shell you gonna try them in he likes that one I tried this little square right here okay. oh. oh that's good that's got banana in it the chocolate you can never go wrong She's gonna try some of this one. Num, num, num. Oh, yes, two big paws of pea like so. That one's really good. The little chocolate mousse one we're gonna try here. Okay, not too much flavor. Thing, I think I prefer the mango panna cotta the most. This is really good. This one I'm gonna finish. So we're just gonna finish up a few little things here. I'm gonna finish the manna cotta and everything. And then I think we're just gonna um, um, say goodbye, but we'll say goodbye in the room because we're gonna head up to the room now. So we'll close out the video there. So we'll see you guys in a bit. This is Connie and I realized as I was editing this video that I forgot to close it out when I got back to the hotel room. I just wanted to say that that's, this was an amazing day. Um, in looking at this video and editing it, you know, seeing the Palace of Versailles, going on the river tour, um, seeing the Eiffel Tower was amazing. It was an amazing day. We had beautiful weather. It was such an uh, awesome experience to see all this and everything. It was just a highlight of the trip and everything. I mean, I love the park. But this was amazing too to see all this and to see the Hall of Mirrors. You guys know how I love Beauty and the Beast and to see where the inspiration for the ballroom came from and to actually be in that room was just amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video today. If you like this video, hopefully I apologize. I know it was a little long. I hope you enjoyed the River, Tru uh, River Cruise Um seeing the Palace of Versailles, seeing the Eiffel Tower, me showing you some of the uh, food and stuff that I tried. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully, um, stay on for the next ones. We still have a few more days left to, to show you and everything. Uh, the rest of the videos will be me at the park and everything. So we will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care and have a magical day. Bye-bye, everybody.